There's the thunder. My God. That's the new heater install. In the last camp in Hereford, it didn't quite get down cold enough to warrant to put that on and test that properly. But tonight, it's due to get down to about two or three degrees tonight. So it's certainly gonna be heater temperature. Whether it keeps the car warm is another question, but I've got my double sleeping bag that I've folded over. So it creates two layers. I've also got another blanket in there as well. That seems to have done the trick last winter. I might bring the hot water bottle as well. Is it time to bring the hot water bottle back out? Hmm. Who knows? At the end of the day, a small space like this, if it can't heat this, then what are they even really used for? This is a very small space. It's not a van. It's not a small room in a house. This is a car. But where are we going tonight? We are going to a place called Bury Ditches, just on the edge of Bishop's Castle. We're going to head down to Bishop's Castle, have a look at the local Shropshire village there, see if we can find some food for tonight's camp. And then we're going to test out the heater tonight on a cold remote camp in the Shropshire Hills. Let's hit the road. Fondly, having a nice slap up full English breakfast there. We used to work for the ambulance service. Might be an option for tomorrow's breakfast maybe. But this is the quiet country village of Bishop's Castle. Not exactly the tourist hotspot of the UK. Not a lot goes on in Bishop's Castle. And the last person the locals would expect to find here is one of those stupid vloggers. But we'll see what we can see. We're on the hunt for a butcher. If I can get some thick cut bacon, I've got a brioche bap in the back of the car. That'll do me just nicely for tonight's dinner. Drovers travel, it's where you book all your holidays. Christmas carols on Bahamas steam train in Hayworth. New Year in London with a gala dinner, eh? 200 quid. Oh, someone was just looking. <laughs> Thinking, who the bloody hell's that? <laughs> hmm. I'm quite liking Bishop's Castle so far. Oh. AJ Family Butcher. Okay. Oh no, closed. I think. What day is it today? It's Wednesday today. Only open till 1 p.m. Damn. This may be the only butchers in Bishop's Castle. What is it with butchers in Shropshire? <laughs> Whenever I need them, they're closed. <laughs> oh well. We'll continue our hunt. What else have we got? The King's Head. It's an original pub name. Ah, we have got a second option. We've got a co-op. And what's the betting? Leave your comments below. How quick is it gonna be until we're kicked out of here for filming? I guarantee someone's gonna come up to me and say, please don't film. so far, bacon, 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 prawns, fish, ah, bacon, what's that, outdoor bread, unsmoked back bacon, £2.75, co-op finest, eh, smoked streaky bacon, don't really want a full pack though, that's the thing, I've got the fridge so I can take the rest home with me, but, I was hoping to get two or three pieces of really thick butcher's bacon, not your pre-packed stuff. But we can't always get what we want, especially with these Shropshire butchers. I'm joking, by the way. Let's get a good date. Will do. Yeah. I'm 
just go and get the ladder. <laughs> Hello, mate. How you doing? Yeah, very good, thank you. That's brilliant, mate. Don't worry about the receipt. Thanks, buddy. Well, they were very friendly in there. I didn't get kicked out. I didn't get told to put the camera away or to naff off. So uh, we're all right. We've got chocolate eclairs. We've got some bacon. Would have preferred some butcher's bacon, but uh, I've got a feeling there's a Shropshire butcher conspiracy against me at the moment. Looks like an interesting store. Gwithers. Ladies and children's fashions. 50% off. This must be where uh, all the locals get their clothes from. It's like a little house on the prairie there. <laughs> Everywhere seems to be closed today. Even the army surplus store, I can't get any face paint. in the fridge. Bacon. That'll do. Take the next right onto Love Lane A488. Love Lane, eh? Are you feeling romantic, guys? I can already feel the love already. Can you feel the love tonight? I don't know the rest of the song. Feel it hurt my boat. No, it's not that, is it? No. You're listening to 105.6 Love Lane Radio. It's enough for this wide-eyed wonder road. I wonder what our chances are of catching a sunset tonight. Those clouds clear, we might just have a chance. But just while we head down into Bury Ditches, here's a little quick mention from today's video sponsor. Flexi Spot. They saw my videos online and thought I could do a bit of a helping hand behind the scenes with the editing setup. So the table that all my gear is now sat on is the brand new Flexi Spot E8 electrical height adjustable table. And no word of a lie, it's been an absolute game changer, not just because they've sponsored today's video. The old setup I used to have was, I suppose the best way to describe it was like an old Amazon Basics, uh, little tiny cramped table that I used to try and wedge this seat underneath. <laughs> I couldn't adjust the height, so I was crouched down with my legs up nearby my chest, trying to edit, and honestly, it wasn't a very comfortable experience. Now, one of the things that this table can do is adjust the height of this table up or down to suit my height, and I cannot tell you how much it's improved my editing experience. It's also got a few little memory options here as well. If you've got like different people in the house or if you want to set your settings for standing up or sitting down, you can do. It's got a child lock here for safety and it's got a built-in USB port just there so you can charge any devices on top of the desk here. Now, when I got it through the post, I was a little bit daunted about how hard it was gonna to be to set up, but I was pleasantly surprised to see that it was simple, well illustrated and easy to follow. So it probably took me Maybe the best part of about 20 minutes to set all the legs up. They've got a massive sale coming up between the 25th and the 28th of November. I'm also going to put a link in the description below where you can join their pre-order event and get an exclusive 31% off this table. If you join now, you'll be able to get £130 off up until the 24th of November. So a massive thank you again to FlexiSpot for sponsoring today's video. I'll leave a link in the description below where you guys can go and join their pre-order event now and save yourself some cash. Back to today's video. You will arrive at your destination. Right, so this is... Burry Ditches, ladies and gentlemen. A very quiet little spot to park, and our potential spot for the night. Now, I have to say thank you to Dave Outdoors for recommending this spot to me. Right, after a little bit of making my mind up, that seems to be flat enough. And we've got just enough space to cook out the back for tonight. And a big log there to scare any boy racers, possibly. I have never been here before, so uh, I'm looking forward to going for a little explore. Whew. 
it is getting nippy now. Welcome to Bury Ditches, Iron Age Hill Fort. Cutting edge technology. Iron is new, magical and cherished. Lou, 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 Lou needs your help. The Ironsmith's son's in trouble. Hmm. Okay, we've got Druid Walk. We've got Chieftain's Walk, Forest Road, Public Footpath, Bridal Way. 2.8 kilometers. Hmm. Don't quite fancy that. Feeling a bit lazy today. 1.8 mile. Chieftain's Walk is 1.3 mile. That seems a little bit more up my street. So we're here. Okay, the Chieftain's Walk goes all around here. This is the fort. So we're gonna see the fort, hopefully, fingers crossed. And then we'll come back and do a loop right back to where we are. Wish me luck. Hopefully I won't get lost. If your dog goes to the loo, get a stick and flick. Is what we do, what we would like you to do. So they're advocating to not clean after your dog. It's the first time I've ever seen a sign saying, don't pick up your dog mess. Why is that? Is that to promote shrubbery growth maybe? Leave in. How far is the hill fort away from here? Oh, oh you're oh, just, there. just up there. How is it? Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> they lost the crown jewels then. Dog was snapping and yapping. Another breathless walk for Brendan. So, what am I actually looking at here? Oh, that looks like something up there. Little man-made structure. Right. It doesn't really look anything like that today. I'm assuming then that was the well and that's probably that little structure up there, a little hump on the hill there, if you can see it. Let's go explore. Anyone seen the horror film called The Ring? The ring vibes. Is this a very ditches hill fort? This would have been the centre of it. Would that have been a well, or has that just been put there as a sign to say this was the middle of the fort? Some beautiful views though. I managed to catch a bit of a time lapse. Well, that's about it for Bury Ditches. You've got a well, some dirt, a couple of small hills. But what tops it off is the incredible view all around the Shropshire Hills. But if wells and dirt are your thing, then maybe Bury Ditches is just for you. Let's head back to the car. Everyone else that was parked here is now gone. Ah, that guy with the van, he's still there. The mountain biker. Some kind of tractor in the distance. But yeah, this spot is now completely empty. Apart from that one chap. Not a bad little tuck away there just behind that mound of dirt. It's midweek, so hopefully we'll avoid some of the weekend chavs, fingers crossed. Let's get dinner on the go.
Chocolate eclair while I wait? Why not? Nothing like a good healthy chocolate eclair after a nice healthy walk. Mm. Mmm. Tastes like victory. Mmm. Now, a few of you left some recent comments on my recent videos of cooking various different things, sausage baps, etc. On Reddit, on Facebook, on Instagram, saying that you need butter with your bacon sandwich or your sausage sandwich. Well, I'll tell you what, right? I'll do you guys a deal. If you keep on supporting the channel the way that you're doing, when I get a van, I guarantee you there will always be butter inside the van. It's so inconvenient at the moment to bring a whole tub of butter out. What I might do is I might try and get those uh, bed and breakfast little bread and butter sachets. Bread and butter. Butter sachets, should I say. Um, see if I can find a place where I can get them. Or leave a comment below. Does anyone know any places where I can get those butter little blocks that I can bring out possibly and chuck in the fridge. Might be a little bit better than bringing out a whole tub of butter. <laughs> Look at that. Get in. Let's give it a flip. Because I'm doing what I'm doing, this is very overt. It's very obviously out of the ordinary. So I'm kind of glad that everybody around this little spot has now gone. But this would be a bad time for someone to turn up now. Because can you imagine, you turn up to somewhere to go for a walk, go and watch a sunset, and you've got some random weird bloke cooking bacon sandwiches at the back of his car. It's the one thing you'd probably go home and talk about. Guess what I saw up at Barry Ditches? And before you know it, you've got the 16-year-old nephew of that family coming up with his mates, 17, 18 year olds in courses with feet at puntos. Wanna cause you a bit of trouble? I'm pretty sure that's now done. Ha! 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 Ooh. Ha! Ooh. That was the sound of my finger sizzling, by the way. <laughs> Mm. That is gorgeous. Right, so I've cleared away the ridge monkey. Now you guys probably can't see me very well because it's quite dark outside. But just look how cozy this looks inside the car now. <laughs> I've got the window covers there and I get all stealthed up and jump in the back. But that is a very inviting sight. Right, so the temperature right now outside is five degrees. I can certainly feel it. The feet are cold. It's brought back memories <laughs> being in the back of this car where it's been freezing cold. So yeah, I'm really hoping that heater tonight is gonna keep me warm, fingers crossed. I've left a little bit of room at the back of the car to be able to reverse and adjust the car to be able to get out of any tricky situations. If I get any trouble tonight, which fingers crossed I won't, I can at least reverse out if someone tries to block me in and get out. You never know what could happen, especially in a place like this when you're alone. It's not um, the safest of feelings, but once I get bed down for the night, once I turn the lights off, I'll feel a lot safer then. Anyone watching who's thinking of doing car camping, the first time you do it, or the first handful of times that you do it, you're gonna be put off by it. It's not gonna be as comfortable as you think it's gonna be. It's probably not gonna be as comfortable as I make it out to be, because I think I sell it quite positively sometimes when I go to some of these places and see some of these beautiful views. Um, but don't let that deter you. When I first started doing car camping, 
it probably took me, and I started it in winter last year, bear this in mind, it probably took me the best part of about two months before I got used to my setup. I knew exactly what I needed to take from home. I knew what I needed to bring in when I got back to make sure it was washed up, how to store things properly, where to put my rubbish, where to put my washing up. Um, all these things you'll learn along the way. And if there's one piece of advice I can give anybody who's thinking of starting doing car camping or even van life maybe, probably applies to both, is that do the first night on your driveway don't go out somewhere remote, hours away from home. Don't set up a big massive trip away for your first night because I guarantee you there'll be at least five things that you forget that are essential to keeping you comfortable. Whether it be enough bedding, uh, enough layers of clothes, um, enough water. You'll be surprised how much water you need on the road, especially when you're away from all facilities. So do the first night on your driveway, just sleep in the car, set yourself a rule that you can't go into the house and every single time you remember that you've forgotten something, just note it down. And it's that first night of forgetting loads of things that will be relatively uncomfortable, but you'll be on the safety of your driveway that you'll then have far more successful camps in the future. I learned the hard way, unfortunately, but hopefully by me at least telling you that, it'll help some of you guys watching. Oh, Christ, like a flipping Teletubby. It's nice and toasty in here. As I said before, it's five degrees right now outside, but it is warm inside this car. How well a tube heater like that would work in a van, I have no idea. But inside the back of this very confined space in the back of my car, it works very, very well. So if you're a fellow car camper and you've got a place to mount that and you're in a relatively confined space like this, I would recommend it. How it performs when it gets down to minus two, minus three is yet to be determined, but I'm sure there'll be videos out that include that. Just chill into a bit of mouth. If you haven't watched him, I'd highly recommend it. Car camping while watching other car campers. <laughs> Okay, I'm all tucked up in bed. Just getting through a couple of episodes of Breaking Bad. I'm gonna turn the fridge off in a minute. That's the uh, whirring you can hear behind me. But yeah, I think I'm gonna uh, switch off for the night and I'll see you guys in the morning. Took them a long time to do the business. The best part of an hour they were part there for. Gone two o'clock in the morning. On a school night as well, guys. I thought naughty playtime for these doggers was at weekends. I might, if I'm lucky, be able to get some sleep now tonight. If you don't hear from me, I'll see you in the morning. If the doggers wasn't enough, we've now got a storm approaching. Mm, man. <sighs> I've been catching glimpses of little bursts of light coming through the window there. Flashing lightning. Haven't heard any thunder yet. I thought I heard a rumble potentially in the distance about 20 minutes ago. And now the rain started.
There's the thunder. My God. I mean, don't get me wrong, it sounds cool, but I want to go sleep. <laughs> I hope Bishop's Castle isn't prone to flooding. I might as well give you an update on the heater underneath the bed. So, about three hours ago, just before midnight, I turned the heater off. I wasn't going to keep it on all night. If I didn't have this double sleeping bag folded over with the blanket in between, and then I would be cold. Thank you. I'm gonna try and ride out this storm. I hope it doesn't get much worse than this. I'll bring you back if lightning starts hitting the car. Fingers crossed that's not the case. The day's just started to crack. It's wet, it's cold. I've just turned the heater on. You can hear the fridge on behind me now. Hopefully it'll get nice and warm in here soon because the top half of my body that's exposed is pretty chilly. I think it's gonna be a wet wipe wash this morning. I don't really fancy getting in the back and getting all the bowl and heating up the water and stuff. So I think we'll have a wash inside the car. And uh, from what I can see, somebody's parked just around the corner from me. Let's see the front of a four by four there. I think somebody's gone to walk their dogs this morning. I was thinking of having a traditional American breakfast with the leftover bacon, cooking some chocolate chip pancakes with some bacon on top. <laughs> yes, I know I've got a hole. Cold, misty morning. Oh, we got neighbors. We got neighbors. At least he didn't come and park right next to me. <laughs> I don't want no one creating any memes out of this, all right? This is my workout routine. Up. Have a look at that. All the chocolate chips running through it. Let's get the heat on. Nice and quick. So that's what it's looking like at the moment. Not too shabby. Oh shit, this is bad. I don't think there's much salvaging at that. It had to happen at some point. 
our first car camping meal failure. While I wait to destroy another pancake, I think I'm gonna leave you guys here. From the wet and cold British countryside that is buried ditches, with a ditch, a well, and some nice views. Thank you for joining me for this video. I can't wait till summer. Winter's only begun, but I can't wait till summer. And another big shout out to all the Patreon members and channel members. You guys have contributed to buying this food for this camp. So thank you guys. And I'll see you in the next video.